I found the voice of God to be simple. Like, there's be times I'm hanging out with God, I'm like, God, speak to me. And he's like, go do the dishes. Go help your wife. You know, like, go jump on the trampoline with your kids. It's not like this complex thing. And, and Jesus even said, my sheep hear my voice. They know me and they follow me. And so have you found that to be the case? Do you think the voice of God is simple or do you think it is a little more complex? No, absolutely. It's really simple. Um, I think most of the time it's so simple that God speaks to people and they don't even believe it's God because it's so simple. That's good. It's like, you know, the still, um, Elijah, you know, the still small voice, that was what God was in, not the raging fire. It is basic and usually it's so basic you can miss it. And this is another thing I want to cover with you is people say I hear God but sometimes they don't hear God or maybe they miss it or they make a mistake. I mean, have you ever, I mean, obviously you, you yeah. It's trial and error, but like, can you elaborate a little on that? Making mistakes, thinking you hear them not, and how you respond off of that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. I think the biggest thing is you gotta start with God as a father. That's awesome. You gotta start with, and it's like a father watching the kids walk. You're not gonna get mad if a two year old can't ride a bike or can't do the dishes. Like, they're just learning. That's really good. Let alone walking in the car. Sure. Um, and so the father. He's really gentle and he's really compassionate. As far as hearing things you don't understand, that probably happens on a weekly basis. And I have some made made some massive mistakes. It hasn't been like totally catastrophic, but I've heard very wrong about some things. And that's okay, but really like the place you want to stay in is you want to stay in a place of basic trust. That God's good, that he's a father, that he loves you. And, and if you're going to judge things you're hearing, the basic test you want to have is the fruit of the Spirit. Is is the, the impression you're receiving, is it peaceful, is it patient? That's good, Scott. Yeah. The last thing I wanted to ask you though is, take, take someone right now who has a life in the Word of God, they hear God through Scripture, it's been an amazing relationship with God, but they do want to kind of venture out a little more and just hearing God at Praje, at a coffee shop, yeah. in their classroom. Where to begin? I mean, where where to start in that whole you know journey of just learning to hear his voice uh, throughout the day? Yeah, um, throughout the day. Well, first, I wouldn't start with throughout the day. I mean, okay. God's going to speak to you throughout the day, and sure. you, learning to keep that keep that open that's a good thing. Yeah. But how I'd start is the Bible says we're seated in heavenly places, and so I just start. Okay, let's just imagine that you're seated in heavenly places. What does that mean? Just just sort of. You have, your mind is a canvas, paint that picture in. Because the Bible scripture says it's true. Whether or not we believe that that's true, you're seeing heavenly places. Start there, imagine God's there, and ask God to speak to you there. And like, get a consistent. And when you way say ask that. God to speak to you, what do you mean? Like, okay, what do you ask Him? I've taught so many people to, to hear the voice yeah. of God. Usually, usually what it is is. God, what do you think of me? God, what do you think of this person? God, what are you saying right now? And and usually what happens is if those people let their imagination run, God will speak to them. It'll be powerful and it'll be amazing. So they may get a picture, yeah. they may get a word, they may get an impression, yeah. they may get a scripture. Yeah, that, like, it, could, it could be anything. It could be anything. Okay. And a lot of times it will feel like their own mind. They'll be like, this is my own mind, I right? Could, I could testify to that. Yeah. Yes. And and that's where the trust comes in, is you have to trust Super that good. God's a good father, right. father, yep. and if you ask him to speak, he will. Love it. That's awesome. Well, Scott, I just want to say thank you for sharing yeah. today. You have been an incredible um, son, spiritual son to me, and you have been catalytic for this church and helping us hear God more and stepping out in faith. And so I just want to say thank you for the life of faith you live, for the risk you live, 